Hi guys, my name is Hayley Louise and welcome to my channel. So for my makeup today, I use all products that come from uh, Poundland. I thought it would be a great idea to just show that it's not just about the actual makeup that you are using. All of these items I use obviously cost a pound each. I just wanted to show in this video that things can be completely and utterly wearable no matter what the price tag it's just how you apply them really so keep watching if you want to find out how i did this i have tested a few things for makeup wise i mean i've had a few blushes and no i've had a blusher and a powder i think that's it i'm going to do a full face of poundland makeup this will kind of be a mix of first impressions and hopefully showing you how to use cheaper makeup and cheaper makeup brands and seeing finding ways for it to work for you so basically say that you can have a full face of makeup and it does not have to be ridiculously expensive first off I have uh, already moisturized my skin I used the Elizabeth Arden moisturizer I use that every single day so just to make sure we've got a nice a nice moisturised base to work with. When I was looking through their foundations, they do not have a very large range. They do have a lot of very dark ones. They also have a lot of medium tones. There wasn't a lot of pale. There was one here called Ivory, which I picked up. And to be quite honest, I mean, I've already tested it basically to see what color it came out. And it's still quite dark we're gonna make it work. The consistency of it is really quite thick. Um, as you can see on my hand though there, I'm not sure if you can tell with the color, but that is pretty, that is pretty darn thick. There's no smell to it whatsoever. I'm just gonna dampen a beauty blender. So I'm gonna try and apply this exactly the same way that I would apply my normal foundation. And we're just gonna see if it works basically. Looks so dark. It also like looks like a BB cream. Oh, who knows? It might be all right once you get it on your face. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell, but this is coming out a little bit patchy. Is too dark for my skin. I'm not even sure at this point what coverage this is. It just says long lasting, a flawless matte finish enriched with vitamin E and UV and UVB filters for added protection. I might actually try old school and actually try to see if this works with my finger. Let's treat this like like a BB cream. I mean as BB creams go, um, I think this isn't a bad find like to replace a BB cream if you just want to add a little bit of colour to your face but to be quite honest it is not hiding any of my like impurities in my skin it's not really cutting out I mean it's shielding them a little bit my dark circles under my eyes are a little bit more like diminished than what they were but I think that's literally because there's this is a very orangey base so I think that's possibly why that is happening so this is far too dark now if you were just doing this and you just you know you had a little bit of other foundation left over that was your color then you could possibly just mix a little bit with that I mean it's 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 okay for a pound you've got a little bit of face on you know I think I'm going to try and counteract that. I picked up a concealer. Oh, this is oxidizing really well as well. Oh no, I got it in my eyebrow. Oh no. So I am becoming more and more orange and streaky by the minute. But let's just see if we can, let's see if we can save this with a concealer. We have the Hide and Chic Concealer. The concealer compared to the foundation. So this is the foundation in ivory. This is the concealer in ivory. So I'm just literally, let me see if this is. Okay, so that is the color that my face is like normally. Yeah, I'm gonna pop a little bit of this all 
all over um, and really just to just see if I can if I can save this look. This looks great. Fabulous. The concealer is so much better. I mean that isn't it's not too bad. It is coming off a little bit cakey, but I'm hoping if I just give it like a couple of minutes to settle into the skin, then hopefully this will save it. So counteract your orangey foundation with a paler concealer. With the use of the concealer, we have managed to balance up. I have used this powder before. I don't think this is a bad powder at all. It smoothly does it pressed powder. I picked it up in translucent one. It's not translucent. There is still colour payoff to it. I have picked up quite a lot as well. This is quite soft and quite creamy. Just going to pat on around my under eye area. Then I'm going to take these are new. I got these for Christmas. These are limited edition. This is the Makeup Revolution. They have no names on. I believe this is the fluffy powder brush. Swish and flick all of that powder off. They did have contour palettes, but they only had really, really dark ones there. I picked up a matte bronzer. So obviously you can use this as bronzer or you can use this as a contour. I just thought this color is near enough similar to a color that I own in, in a contour palette. So we'll see how this works. We'll see, we'll see if this works. This one is in matte medium too. And oh, it's already, it's a bit dirty already, but I'm picking up my another Makeup Revolution brush. This is the contour brush with quite a bit of pigment. We have contour on. And let's do a little blush while we're here. So I have owned this one for quite a while, actually. This has made an appearance in a few makeup tutorials so this is the makeup gallery this is in coral rose this blusher very well loved as you can see this is a really really pretty color so it's there and it looks oh i use the same finger never mind so we have blush on we have skin done let's talk eyeshadows for a moment i picked up three little minis this one is called pink champagne we have cappuccino which is a beautiful like matte gray brown to finish it off we have khaki green which is a beautiful metallic green with goldy flecks going through it so i'm going to start off i think with cappuccino i'm just going to put that like through the crease and i just realized that as i was putting on this that the camera decided to cut out all i did was i just used a brush and i've just basically made a bit of shadow and just made a kind of crease line with the cappuccino. I'm just going to go in with this beautiful khaki green colour. Look at it. I hope this is actually pigmented. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm going to place that right in the centre of the lid. I kind of left a little gap for it there. So I'm just going to pat that on with my finger and see how that looks. These shadows are not very soft, but at the same time, there's not, like I haven't had any fallout on my face whatsoever, and I have been blending and blending and blending them. So I don't want my, oh, my makeup to be really, really dark, but you just want like a little bit of color. I quite like that. So I'm gonna go in with a little detail brush now, and I am going to take this beautiful green all underneath my eye and maybe pack a little bit more on that middle section pretty happy with that as it stands at the moment next one i am just picked up an eyebrow pencil an eyebrow pencil for a pound what more can you say this is in brown it's just a really just dark brown it feels really nice and i'm going to just fill my eyebrows in now off camera and i shall see you in a moment so i am back i have eyebrows now they look a bit menacing at the moment this um, eyebrow pencil is really quite good it's solid enough so you can do like little gentle flicks good pigment though really good pigment now, I did pick up two eyeliners I picked up one in space gray which is a really nice dark gray color I think for just for the sake of like normality I'm just gonna use the black liner let's just let's just do a basic wing this one is quite watery it is kind of like a paintbrush tip rather 
rather than a felt tip. That brush is so, so tiny. You can get a really precise line. I love that. So I'm gonna do the same on the other eye a sec. After I did my eyeliner, I thought I'll put the camera on charge for five minutes. While I did, I did apply lashes because if you have been watching for any length of time, you will know that it takes me a long time to get false lashes on my face. These are the ones that I used. You get two pairs and glue. I have used the glue. They've got a really nice thin band. If I was better at putting them on, then maybe we might have a few better results. If you're any good at false eyelashes, I think these would be really good for stacking. I mean, what a pair could you get if you've got like five pairs and stack them together? I am just going to might make sure that all of my lashes are curled together. Then we are going to try the never ending lengthening mascara. So let's put a couple of coats of this on and see how that works. Standard bristle end. It smells so much like Maybelline Great Lash. It's unbelievable. If you've ever, ever smelled a Maybelline Great Lash, there's a very like plasticky vinyl kind of smell to it. So the lashes at the bottom are a lot longer. They are really nicely separated. The only thing is, is the pigment on this, I think. I think if you were to use this as a base, uh, to just give your left to just give your lashes a little bit of a lengthen I think this would really really make a difference I may very well give that a go like in my norm with my normal mascara I'm just gonna go back into the liner and just sort of like even out my lines and even out my lashes a little bit and then we'll move on to highlighter and lips and we're nearly done now I could not find a highlighter at all I am going to use that eyeshadow that I showed you earlier the pink champagne I'm going to use that I'm gonna pop that in the inner corners of my eye as a highlight down my nose on my cheeks and let's just see how this works oh wow look at that guys girl get yourself down to Poundland and pick yourself up a little a little pink champagne eyeshadow palette because look at that sheen I really really like that as a highlight and then the last step I'm just going to take my finger and just pop it on the inner corners of my eye oh my goodness this color guys this color is so pretty the lips I just want to go for something just wearable and everyday so I have picked up the lip liner in rose which is that one that is a really pretty like muted rosy pink this lipstick is in naked brown but I thought that would go really well with that one let's just oh yeah okay the lip liner could be softer final stage this is the finished look guys I'm going now <laughs> bye so I've been wearing this makeup for a few hours now I just wanted to come back and give you a little bit of like a rundown of, of what's happened the lashes I it might just be my technique I have not mastered false lashes at all I mean they look pretty good still they are starting to come off just in the middles as you can see my eyes are a little bit pink as well because my contact lenses need to come out like now my eyes are like <gasps> the lashes themselves are really really lovely and um, the glue held really really well I do not normally use the glue out of those packets I usually use a duo or something like that they are really really good lashes for on the go my skin it does feel quite heavy I think that is mostly because obviously we couldn't find a foundation match my skin tone so I did apply basically concealer near enough all over my face to get the coverage and to get the colour that I wanted for my skin tone. It looks okay I think for the most part. Um, a couple of places obviously it's creased around my eyes a little bit um, just at the bottom there. It's come off at the sides of my nose it's also like it is winter here at the minute as well so this is happening with my normal foundation anyway but my nose is a little bit flaky you do have a little bit of foundation build up just around the sides of your nose there as well but apart from that to be quite honest it's pretty good my eyeliner has held up really really well so cannot fault that for a pound I'm actually really quite excited to try that space gray with something so let me know if you have any ideas the eyeshadows have held pigment a little bit they haven't lasted that long 
but they are still present on my eyeballs so um and the lipstick as well i haven't reapplied this and this has stayed like near enough all night and i have eaten and drank as well overall poundland gets a thumbs up from me if you have used any poundland products let me know in the comments below i'll be really really interested to know if there's any other brands or any other things that you would like me to try or any specific looks or color ideas even stuff like that um, I would really love to try them all out. Thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far to the end. As always, all of my social media and whatnot will be in the description box down below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up because it would make my day. And subscribe if you feel like it. I shall see you all again very soon with another video. Bye! I got... Uh, not... Uh, <laughs>